Do you have a sense of where, uh, a hypothesis of where is the cocoon that it might have come from? If no, because, uh, the, okay, so first of all, you know, the solar system, the outermost edge of the solar system is called the Oort cloud. It's a cloud of icy rocks um, of different sizes that were left uh, over from the formation of the solar system. Yes. And uh, it, it's thought to be roughly a, a ball or a sphere. Mm -hmm. um, and it's halfway, the extent of it is roughly halfway to the nearest star. Okay, so you can imagine each planetary system basically touching uh, the Oort clouds of those stars yes. that are near us are touching each other. Space is full of these billiard balls that are mm -hmm. very densely packed. Yes. And what that means is any object that you see, irrespective of whether it came from the local standard. So we said that this object is special because it came from a local standard of rest. But even if it didn't, you would never be able to trace where it came from because all these Oort clouds overlap. So if you take some direction in the sky, you will cross as many stars as you have yeah. in that direction. Like there is no way to tell which old cloud it came from. So yeah, so I, di I didn't realize how densely packed everything was uh, yeah. uh, from the perspective of the Oort cloud. And yeah, that's really interesting. So yeah, it could be it could be nearby, it could be very far away. Yeah, we, we have no clue. 